Merry Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to some of you in other parts of the world. Uh, this is Clackman, and I'm doing my personal favorites of the MCU. And I might do DCEU, because it's also on the list here, um, of the best ones. And I'll tell you why they are good in a very quick, succinct way. Uh, I'm not going to be personal grudges about certain things. I'm just going to go through the list and tell you why something's good. Now, as you can see here, this list is organized by these categories, very self-explanatory, and I'll go through it. So some of them are DCEU at the end, if I have time. Like, uh, I see Aquaman up here, but that's not going to be doing anything right now. Let's start off with this. This is uh, Avengers Endgame. Obviously a must-see movie. I'll need to tell you why. Uh, uh, Avengers Infinity War. Uh, this is also a must-see fucking movie relating to this one, so no question about that, man. We've got Ant-Man and Wasp. This one could be better in a lot of categories. Uh, fun for what it was, but um, I, like it didn't really have a lot to do with any of the other movies, per se, except for the post credit scene. It had to do with other movies. Uh, Ghost was a, a fine character. Wasp was a fine character, um, but overall... Not particularly the best driven movie story-wise, but some cool effects, some cool stunts, for sure, but not going to be on anybody's best of list in any way, so I'll just move on from there. Ant-Man, the first one, unfortunately, same thing. I like Ant-Man. I'll just put it right there. I like Ant-Man. I like his character. Uh, I like his powers. I like his, his, his cool swagger about things, his comedic effect there, but the movies, they're not doing him that strong justice but they're fine for what they are but they definitely could be better for sure first avengers movie i thought the avengers first movie was was really good very important however there's a lot of talking elements in the movie that is really like over the head like over, of most people kind of thing it dragged on way too long padding the runtime of the movie and didn't really feel like it needed to be there. That's what padding is. It didn't really feel like it needed to be there. But overall, a fine movie and very important overall for the MCU as a whole. Oh, that's Age of Ultron? Oh, this is the, this is the original one. I'll just put that. Eh, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll, I'll now just talk about Age of Ultron. Uh, Age of Ultron introduced, of course, to Wanda and uh, Pietro as well as Vision as well. So overall, is a, it's a very important picture, but I don't think many people are talking about the picture as being like super good per se. It's just fine for what it was. Uh, very, very cool storytelling and everything like that. But um, it was important overall because of the characters they introduced. But mm, not really something you need to go out of your way and see. Just fine for what it was. Black Panther, very important character. I'll put that in the must-see category because not only did it introduce, no, it didn't introduce that that was uh, that was Civil War, um, or was, yeah, Civil War, yeah, it's Civil War. Um, but it let you know more about the character of T'Challa, uh, Killmonger, really cool, uh, the vibranium, the vibranium backstory, uh, Claw. Um, the, the characters are really cool. Um, Shuri's going to be important going forward with the MCU, things like that. The, the Dora Milaje is also important on the shows as well. So overall, it's a must-see movie for sure. Not only with the, the effects are cool, except for that train sequence, but that the characters are really well done and fleshed out. The music is good as well in that movie. So yeah, definitely a must-see movie for sure. A lot of people still talk about this movie, and there's a reason why. Black Widow. I'll put you into the, um, you didn't piss me off like Thor, Dark World there, but you're like setting a, you're a thin line. I'll put you in that accord. There's other movies I'm going to put here, but not that one. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely not the best movie I've seen. Not complete garbage. Um, they showed you the best parts of the trailers, uh, which they usually do nowadays. That's why I don't watch them. Um, I love the Yelena's character as well. Uh, the other characters in the movie, even Natasha, wasn't really anything interesting to write home about. But Yelena, they put her over really well, and it's just like a movie that was fine, uh, but was worse than fine because um, you know they could do a lot better. So yeah, uh, I'll put Captain Marvel and Thor: Dark World here for sure. I saw this movie twice on my uh, behest. I was bored both times. 
The movie didn't make a lot of sense. And a lot of padding in there. The only interesting part was the last five minutes of the picture when she was in space. The rest of the part was talking about nonsense. Um, scrolls. They were important in um, No Way Home, but in post credit scene, but not really important as a whole either way. Uh, they really didn't do a lot to make Captain Marvel a really fun character in her picture, which is weird. They didn't really try to make her fun. They're cool. Um, yeah, I just didn't really feel the character at all. Many people would say that it's not really that good of a picture. Winter Soldier, get your ass up there in must-see tier. I don't think I need to say why. Everyone knows why this is good. I'll move on from there. Captain America, the first Avenger, fine for what it is. But it's just like, uh, introduced to, to Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter, uh, Bucky, of course. But, um, it, it's a really strong movie, but it just didn't do a lot to push anything going forward. But it's not overall as important as these two movies. It's just fine for what it is. So, Dr. Strange, I'll put you in the pretty good tier. Visually, of course, very amazing. Dr. Strange is a very cool character. Uh, the cape was introduced there. The Necrocomicon, the Dark Spells, Wong, Mordo. Uh, so many cool people and elements were introduced in that movie. Uh, the, the whole portal thing, which also transitions into Infinity War and, and No Way Home as well, which is also on the list here coming up here as well. But like uh, Dr. Strange in his universe, the character is important. Very important movie overall. You know what? I'm going to put that in a must-see tier. You you have to know the origin of, of the character. You have to know them. I'll put you up there in a must-see tier for sure because it's definitely a must-see if you're a fan of the franchise to know who Doctor Strange is and his characters uh, and his mystic arts and things like that. You need to know this movie 100%. So there you go. So War, 100%. The, the airport fight scene, of course, there, the betrayal of Iron Man, uh, of Captain America, per se, and the Iron Man and the conflict, and Zuma was playing both sides. Yeah, great movie, for sure. Shang-Chi, I'll put you in must-see tier. It's a newer movie, but it comes in must-see tier. It's um, introduced, of course, to Shang-Chi, his cool sidekick character. Uh, Wong's in the, for a little, in the actual movie a little bit there. Um, the, the story of the Tang Ring's really cool. The effects are good with the dragons and whatnot there. But um, you know what? I'm thinking about the, the importance overall. I'm I'm gonna put you in pretty good tier. I like the movie a lot. I'm not gonna say anything bad about it really. But like importance wise, um, not right now. Not right now in, in in that tier. It's good for what it is, but not as important as these movies at all. Not as important. Very good, but not as important. Uh, far from home. I'll put you in fine tier. A lot of people put that higher, but um, uh, I like Mysterious character. I like the I like the Nick Fury and his involvement in the picture. the The effects were cool with the giant monsters and whatnot. There, and it was kind of a cop out at the end to tell everybody who Peter Parker is and whatnot. There, and what they did with it was okay ish. I mean, like you didn't try to solve like anything and prove yourself innocent, but. Um, I, I, I kind of didn't dig that Peter Parker fell for Mysterio's trap so easily. His spider sense didn't go off to, to like, who he is, that kind of stuff there. So that was kind of weird. There, the whole Eda thing with the missiles and the, the robotic stuff there, kind of like, eh. Uh, the, the part also in the, the, the bus stop area when uh, him and his friends were doing something and it was kind of like a naughty looking thing. I thought that was kind of like, eh. Uh, the opera scene kind of, eh. So, but the effects were cool and whatnot in some parts, but overall, it's fine for what it is, just like not nearly as cool or strong or as important as the other pictures on the list. Guardians, to me, personally, it's, it's, uh, is that part two? I'll, I'll put part two higher. Um, the, the whole, the, 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 the Thor, uh, Thor's eye getting knocked out, the introduction of Ego, the character as well, uh, introduction of Mantis, she's an important character going forward as well, so I'll put you in that tier. The first Guardians movie, to me, it was kind of meh, it wasn't like godlike, super important per se, but the characters are important in, 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 uh, in their own right there, but it just didn't do a whole lot for me, uh, the action pieces with the rotating, rotating shot around the characters didn't do a whole lot for me. Uh, Hawkeye, to me, um, Thor Dark World here. Um, most of the dialogue I can see coming a mile away. Uh, the the action was okay-ish. 
uh, a lot of dark characters wearing dark clothing in the dark setting, kind of eh, kind of lazy. But um, the snap thing was kind of cool, but eh, not really that strong, bro. Not really that strong dialogue-wise or action-wise. It was fine for what it was. The last episode was pretty good, but the other episodes is kind of like long, boring, talking about nothing. Uh, Homecoming, one of my favorite movies overall. Uh, the Vulture character was really cool. He's smart. He, he, he figured out what Spider-Man was, like Green Goblin did in the first movie, Spider-Man 1. Uh, so overall, it was a fun movie with really cool characters as well. And definitely had the audience popping for certain scenes in that movie for sure. So, yep, there you go. Uh, Hulk. Um, not trash tier, just okay tier. It's, it's okay. I don't got a lot of time left. Here we go. Um, let me see here, the first Iron Man movie, uh, definitely super, is that Iron Man 1 or 2? I can't even tell. If it's Iron Man 1, it goes up there, I don't know. Uh, it's a super important movie, I don't need to say why. Looks like Iron Man 2, I guess. If, it, if, if this is Iron Man 2, it goes into Thor Dark World tier. Oh, it is, okay, Iron Man 3, um, you go into could be better tier. Uh, some definitely cool stunts and everything like that, but you're not nearly as important or cool or strong, uh, storytelling-wise as the first one, but you're fine for what you are. Uh, Loki, you, you in the fine tier. Most people would have, have it higher, but, uh, it's important overall for the introduction of variants, uh, to the MCU, uh, which is also important going forward. Um, like I said, the story, the story is good, but it's not told particularly well. Um, I did like the other characters in the in the in the the show, but it's just like not super duper important uh, and not nearly as fun as the other movies on the higher tier list. I, I didn't find anything in Loki particularly fun. That's that's me real. Is this No Way Home? I guess it is. Uh, overall, it's a super high tier. I don't need to say why. I think most of you know why it's it's super high tier. I don't know what the fuck that car is, so I'm going to ignore that shit. So, Shazam's there. Eternals, Thor Dark World here. I tried twice to look at it. Both times, I got knocked out. Put me right in the REM mode, boy. Uh, I'll put this one. It's not super important overall like these tiers are, but it's a strong chill overall with a good message. Uh, great action elements with the new Falcon as well. Uh, they made people cry and everything with the whole Isaiah character as well. So it's a very strong show, and they they built up uh, the episode, the, the show was very well, and they paid it off very well. So overall, it was a very strongly strongly made show. Thor Ragnarok not as important as those, but definitely a fun time overall. I don't think anybody's going to ignore that. It, you know, you're just going to uh, say anything bad about that one. One division, you go right here as well. Uh, overall, very important. Uh, one division, of course, Wanda is going to be important in the upcoming movie as well. Uh, the whole hex thing, the the, the children thing, uh, you know, Pietro and whatnot. There, um, um, yeah, it, it's it's overall a very important show. If you look at it, the whole snap thing came into play, and um, yeah, Wanda going out of control. The whole yeah, it's it's very important. What if? Um, uh, super important must must see list there multiverse not multiverse stuff there the watcher going between universes what could happen between that one a new taking your favorite stuff there um uh, very well acted as well great act sequences as well so yeah overall very very well done that's it for the mcu stuff uh i see here on the list here i see let's see another thor thing here if it's thor eh, put in trash tier. i don't fucking know Okay, so the DCEU, let's go with the, um, I put that here, uh, Birds of Play, which I thought was another one, Birds of Prey, I'll put that in the trash tier, uh, be, be, trash tier, trash tier, uh, Man of Steel, uh, fine until the end, I don't know what the fuck this is, so I'm gonna put you, is that Joker, um, it's fine to me. I'll put that one, Shazam, up there. Really fun picture. Uh, Suicide Squad. Um, I'll put that in the D tier. Um, let me see here. What is this? Suicide Squad. I'll put that right here. 30 seconds left there. Wonder Woman. I'll put that in the uh, oh, 84. Oh, fuck that. Uh, I'll put that one right there. And just Justice League, I'll put that in the trash tier just in case. All right. That's it for now. Uh, what do you think? Uh, in the comments, let me know for now. Black off. <clears throat>